This is going to be a bit of a different video today. I wanted to talk about employee retention tax credit fraud. That's right, I said fraud. You see a lot of pop-up companies promoting $26,000 tax credits per employee on how they're getting businesses hundreds of thousands of dollars back in tax credits. This is a legitimate tax credit, but whenever there is a program like this with large sums of money available and the publicity it's getting, you'll invariably get lots of fraud and abuse. If you're not careful, you can get seriously burned. You know what they say, if something sounds good to be true, it probably is. Accounting Today says that fraudulent claims of the ERC tax credit could be one of, if not, the largest tax-related scams in U.S. history. According to a report by the Treasury Inspector General, the IRS has identified more than 11,000 suspicious federal returns that claimed more than $2 trillion in tax credits. That's right, I said trillion with a T. In this video, I'll show you what to look out for so that you don't get caught up in employee retention tax credit fraud and what to do if you did, and most importantly, how to best protect yourself. Hi, I'm Noel Lorenzana, your friendly neighborhood accountant. Follow me for important public service announcements just like this one. Some background information, the ERC or Employee Retention Tax Credit was a program designed to incentivize small businesses to keep full-time employees on payroll during the pandemic instead of laying them off. As a side note, it's actually ERC and not ERTC. Many, including myself at times, refer to it as ERTC. Just know that it's the same thing. Here are some examples of ERC ads from maybe questionable providers. Let's look at this one. This ad is pretty sketchy looking. Let's go to their website. Okay, it looks like it was thrown together by a third grader. Oh boy, I wonder if anyone was foolish enough to apply with this company. Here's one I found on Facebook. It promises huge refunds to entice you to direct message the person to apply. This person doesn't appear to have any tax or accounting background though. No surprise, I guess. Here's another one. This graphic looks good actually, but the written text seems off. Okay, on second look, probably not very legit sounding. Here's another one. This one is actually a well-designed ad. It looks good, sounds good, but let's look at the company offering the service. Integrated Insurance and Investments. Uh, if you look at their website, this is actually a life insurance company. And that's my point. I can go on and on. I mean, everyone and their brother is promoting ERC tax credits, it seems. So I just want you to be aware of what's going on and to be very careful. Don't get me wrong, if your business qualifies, the tax credits can be substantial, but here's what's missing in some ERC provider's services. Determination of the taxpayer's eligibility. You absolutely need to read the fine print. Some ERC providers remove all responsibility from themselves in determining the taxpayer's eligibility. They may tell you to consult your CPA or tax professional to verify their calculations. Others go so far as to include a clause in their agreements which frees them from responsibility regarding eligibility determination. The problem is that not every business qualifies. The law and guidance surrounding employee retention credits is over 150 pages long. That's a lot of details to digest and interpret even for experienced tax professionals. If you claim the credit, be sure that your paperwork is in order and expect to be audited. That's my best piece of advice. Meaning, presume that you'll be audited in the future and get your paperwork in order in advance. The problem is there are way too many unqualified people that don't fully understand the process and who are selling or promoting ERC tax credit services. The rules are complicated. You need to know about aggregation rules, attribution rules, and how PPP money impacts qualified wages. In my strong opinion, you really need to research your preparer and ensure that they're qualified to do the calculations for you and that they'll still be in business in a few years. ERC tax credits is basically a two-step process. 
First, you need to have the calculations done to see if a business even qualifies for ERC credits. Presuming they do, great. The next step is to amend the 941 payroll tax returns. Here's a scenario for you. Some ERTC companies will only do the calculations for you and ask you to find somebody else to prepare the amended payroll tax returns. Hmm, why is that, do you think? Personally, I would avoid these types of companies. My feeling is if they're not prepared to sign off on their work by preparing and signing the amended tax returns, you probably shouldn't use them. Seriously, ask yourself why they're not willing to prepare the amended tax returns. Maybe they don't want the responsibility that goes along with signing an IRS tax return. After all, paid preparers are held to strict standards and can be subject to penalties and perjury. For anyone looking to have this done, please proceed carefully and research your preparer. Believe me, this is going to be a huge audit area in the very near future. The IRS will audit ERC tax credit claims and if they find out the claims are inaccurate or find out that calculations were done incorrectly, the business owner will need to pay back the ERC tax credit money received. Even if you close the business, the business owners and responsible parties may be personally liable for repaying the ERC tax credit money. I'm not certain on the personal liability part of it, but I'm presuming it's correct based on the current guidelines. This is uncharted territory and full guidance has yet to be given. Sorry to be a party pooper, but I like to keep it real and I just want to warn people that the IRS is taking ERC tax credit fraud very seriously. By the way, please do me a favor. If you're getting value from the video, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. So just be aware that these ERC tax credit mills are flooding media channels with large tax credit incitements, but gloss over important details. You need to read the fine print. The rules to qualify are actually fairly complex. If you feel that you've been duped by an ERC tax credit pop-up shop, then definitely get a solid second opinion. You don't want to be in a position with having to pay back tens of thousands of dollars to the IRS with accumulating penalties and interest where you could be required to personally to pay it all back. I'll be honest, ERC promoters, most of whom are not licensed accountants or tax professionals, have given the accounting profession a lot to have to clean up in the future. On a related note, check out this video here where I talk about the new 87,000 IRS employees they plan to hire in the next several years. I would imagine some of these new agents will be investigating ERC tax credit fraud. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. If you're watching this, consider yourself a member of the Ask an Accountant Nation. Take care.